This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kara Santa Maria. Huntington Park City Council voted on some contracts this week that had residents raising eyebrows. It's Friday, September 10th. Last month, KCET reported on potential conflicts of interest in the city of Huntington Park, where businesses that had donated to council members received hefty contracts. Some of these were voted on this week. Julie Patel's been covering. So, Julie, remind us what you uncovered about these contracts. Sure. We looked into the contracts after the city put six employees on leave for an alleged information breach. But the employees said they were being retaliated against for questioning contracts. So our investigation found that council members doled out millions to contractors in recent years, companies that donated nearly a third of all campaign contributions to these elected officials. There were also thousands of dollars in gifts. Since expenses for contractors ultimately come from taxpayers, residents want to know that their dollars are being used wisely. What happened at the council meeting this week where some of these contracts were up for a vote? Express Transportation Services, or ETS, gave city council members over $5,000 directly and received $5 million in payments from the city. At this meeting, after a lengthy conversation and a small protest, the council then approved a transit contract for ETS worth up to $4 million. City officials said that the only competitor looked better on paper in terms of its prices, but they cited concerns that additional fees from the competitor could make its prices higher in the end. Experts say a lack of robust competition on government contracts can signal that an agency either isn't publicizing the work widely or creating very specific qualifications that only one or two companies can meet. Thanks, Julie.